When testing children, the distractor tries to maintain the response behaviour established during the conditioning procedure. In most cases, the typically enlarged, somewhat exaggerated behaviour during conditioning of the distractor can get back to normal proportions. The distractor takes a back seat and only steps into the limelight when necessary. This might be the case when the child feels unsure. The distractor has to avoid giving cues on the one hand, but has to encourage the child to show the response behaviour on the other. Joran looks up to the distractor because he's uncertain. Because Joran yeah. showed a lot of false positive reactions in the past, Christine is quite careful in confirming his reaction. When he's looking for confirmation a second time, she encourages him to play the game. It's weifelt. So, klein beetje, heb jij gehoord, hè? Doe er maar op, Joren. Ja, dat was een stil piepje. En dan mag jij het erop doen. If necessary, a short moment of conditioning is introduced again. This is what happens here. Amina shows a very nice head turn when hearing the long s in the series of z sounds. That's why we quickly go to the test procedure. Before the first stimulus sound is presented, she shows a false positive response, which is of course discouraged or ignored. When the first s is presented in a series of background z sounds, there is no reaction. To fix her attention to the stimulus sound, the distractor repeats the sound s and visual reinforcement is activated again. Oh, la, what a thick face, Dara! Yeah, what a thick Oh! Heel flink, bravo! Bravo, schatteke! Ja! Hey! Kijk, hè! Die gaat hier. Oh oh! Kijk! Maar nu is er niks te beleven, hè, schat daar? Hé? Kijk! Oh! Some children keep on reacting with a combination of head turns and play actions. In those cases, the level of performance testing can't be established and persisted observation is necessary. Most children are difficult to test in between the ages of 24 and 36 months. They show head turns but lose interest very quickly. Reactions on the level of the threshold can hardly be observed and disappear very quickly when they do appear. Bravo. When children are too busy playing and don't listen anymore as a consequence, the toys are taken away. De hamer moeten afpakken, denk ik. Laat ik eens de hamer. Laat ik eens de hamer. Oh ja. Wat hebben we hier nog? Wat hebben we hier nog? Om te spelen. Ja, 
aber das ist das. Ah ja, gut so. Kick! When there are doubts about reliability, it's sensible to have a long interstimuli interval. You see Mauro waiting impatiently. However, he only decides to put the block in the box when he really hears the stimulus. Kick. He demonstrates the reliability check brilliantly. Heb je het gehoord? Goed zo. Heel goed. En nog luisteren. Ja, maar een beetje wachten. Hè? Een beetje wachten. Hè? Eerst. Ja. Beetje wachten, hè. Tot we iets horen, hè. Wachten. Goed zo, man. Ja, bravo. Here, you see the distractor takes orders from Jetska, just another game to keep the attention of Jetska ongoing. To check whether Jetska reacts reliably, the distractor shows a false positive reaction. Jetska doesn't agree and also demonstrates the reliability check brilliantly. Oh, ik heb niets gehoord. To check whether Emily is able to give reliable answers, the testers introduce a negative check here. Some children are very reliable when asking them whether they heard a beep. It's quite obvious that Emily's verbal answers are not reliable and that it's a better idea to rely on her gaze and head turn. Een piaasje wel, een paard. Heel goed. En nu gaan we luisteren. Heb je iets gehoord? Nu ja, nu hebben we niks gehoord. Een beetje wachten op het piepje. Mondje dicht zo. Ja. Nu heb je iets gehoord, hè? Ja. Ja. We work as long as possible with the children. Most children can listen for a long time if you play the games in the right order. Don't take the most challenging and pleasant games first. It's our belief that children can concentrate for a long time if they are put in a pleasant, structured situation. The distractor's expressions must be a well-balanced mixture of joy and confidence. Hou ze maar goed vast, hè? Goed vasthouden, hè? Nu gaan we luisteren naar de nog A. Nog A. Ja, heel goed. Wacht, Jorgen. Wacht, wacht, wacht. Moet ik ze erbij zetten? Ja. Beetje wachten? Ja. 
Zijn al, hebben alle autootjes gereden, Joren? Mooi. Mooi, hè? Ben jij sterk? Ja, ik Heb jij goede spiertjes, zo? Ja. Ja? Oké, okay. allee. Maar niet op tafel, hè? Niet op tafel, hè? Ja, nee. Ja. Ja, heel goed. De blauwe. Ja, en nu weer luisteren. Another way to keep the children going is to make a game of the audiometry. Some children can work just a little bit longer when they want to be the first to react. Tu veux le faire avec maman? Tu veux le faire avec maman? Oui. Tous les deux ensemble. Écoute bien. Et tu dis oui maman si tu entends quelque chose. Ah, c'est bien. Oui. Et tu vas, et tu, et tu vas plus vite, tu vas vite toi. Hein? Et t'as gagné. Vite, hein? vite, 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 hein. Oui. T'as gagné de maman. Oui. Oh, oh. 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 Dommage. <rire> C'est dommage. Allez. Ma game vue. Ma game vue. <laughs> Although Matthias keeps on looking to the distractor, the distractor doesn't establish eye contact with him to avoid giving a visual cue. The same holds true for the distractor here. She only moves and reinforces now, Lena, when her reaction is clear. That is the O. We wachten op de A. Dit is de O. A. A. En erin. O. O. Ja, goed zo. Beetje schudden. O. 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 Wacht, wacht, wacht. Shh. Nee, nee. Als je de A hoort, mag het erin. Even wachten. Goed zo, Nalene. Goed meisje. The most important thing to know is whether children hear well enough to develop speech and language. Testing a child with free field stimulation will answer this question. Another reason to obtain free field responses first is that children can get confused or even upset when trying to put headphones on or insert phones in place. Even when they seem to be okay with it, their reactions might change or head turns might disappear, for example. In most cases, though, we need ear-specific information, so we have to put supraoral headphones or insert phones in place. Inserts are the earphones of choice because they are very handy to use in small size heads. Because the interaural attenuation is smaller than when using conventional supraoral headphones, we only have to deal with the need of masking to a lesser extent. If children tolerate supraoral headphones better, foam or other padding can be used to fasten the headphones. The bone vibrator can be held in place using a headband or by using soft tissue. It's better not to hold the bone vibrator, but sometimes it is necessary. Geef maar. Ja, kijk. Oh. Oh, oh. Ja, kijk eens. Ja, goed zo. Bravo, jongen. Wat is dat allemaal, zeg. Hm? 